Hi, you're competing in the Grand Prix. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about the horse that you'll be competing on? Um, yeah, oh. I'm competing a Touch Imperious. Uh, he's a nine-year-old. He's getting a bit more experience now, but he's uh, he came, I think, third in the Newcomers final at Horse of the Year show as a seven-year-old and third in the Grade C final at the Horse of the Year show um, and did well in the county show circuit last year. So I'm just trying to do the big classes now sure. with him. And will, they, will this be the biggest competition you've taken him in? Um, well, no, I've been in Portugal at the start of this year doing the three-star there. He came fourth in the Grand Prix there, which was, I was really pleased with. So, Great. Just, yeah. Great. And who else have you got? What other horses have you competed with? Um, I've competed Highland Cruiser. He came fourth this morning in the speed. And Silver Lift, who's an eight-year-old, who came fifth yesterday in the speed, actually. So they've gone well. And for viewers that don't know your background, can you tell us a little bit about where are you based now? Um, I'm based in the southwest um, in Somerset, so a bit out of the loop for show jumping. Um, and yeah, based with my family, a bit of a family run yard, um, producing young horses. I produced all of mine from youngsters to well Grand Prix level. Really. So the horses you're here today, they're all, all home produced. Yeah, all home produced, all home. Produced. And does that make a difference? Does, it, does that make it easier or harder? Easier in terms of the connection you must have with the horse, but harder in terms of I guess you're always looking for the yeah. next big thing. Yeah, no, it's I, I quite enjoy it because it's nice to go into a Grand Prix and know you're on a really good horse and know that you've done the work to get it there. So it makes it I think it makes it for me more worthwhile that I can produce horses to that standard. <laughs>